Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to GTE. And for this video, we have a very special sneaker right here. More specifically, a New Balance sneaker. And if you guys are already in the sneaker game, you know what shoe this is, so let's get right into it. What we have here is none other than the New Balance 2002R and the Salehi Benbury colorway Water Be The Guide. So let's just get right into it. We have this very beautiful waterfall design all over the box. And obviously that plays a big part into the name of the colorway in itself, which I'll get into the details later. So just take more of a look around the box. We have the sticker tag right here that I'll read briefly. Then we have some more of the waterfall action right there. And then when we turn it this way, we have the water be the guide with some extra New Balance logos, as well as Salehi Banbury's name at the bottom. So just getting into the sticker tag, we see it says ML 2002 RJ, and then it shows the men's size eight, and it also says classics as well as newbalance.com, and we have the SKU code at the bottom, as well as the Salehi Danbury's logo right there. And guys, let's just open this lid. And when we actually open this lid, we have this nice graphic right here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to catch that on the camera properly. So we seem to have Salehi Banbury right here in this kind of Japanese art style, which is really cool looking, I'm not even gonna lie. This box, man, is, is shooting a lot of these other collaborations out of the park. I really love the box. And for once, New Balance did not give me a broken box. So I'm really excited about that too. So I could appreciate the design and actually keep the box. So let's just go ahead and take out the shoes, guys. We have this New Balance wax paper in white. And let's just take out these shoes, man, because we have the star of the show. So before I go into the details of the shoe, I would actually like to speak about the inspiration behind it. So if you guys didn't know, Salehi Banbury is actually big on hiking, and that's usually what are the inspirations behind his New Balance collaborations. And just for some more context, this is actually the second collaboration between him and New Balance. So the first colorway was inspired by the Antelope Canyon in Arizona in order to represent the desert, as opposed to this colorway actually being inspired by the Havasu Falls and the Grand Canyon to represent the moving water. So if you guys actually look into the box, as you can see right here, it gives away the inspiration. So as the title of the colorway is named as Water Be The God, you can see the Havasu Falls in this kind of artistic drawing right here, and you see the flow and the movement of the water. So that's really what the sneaker colorway was used to represent, which is really cool to me. So that's basically what concludes the inspiration of the shoe. So now let's get into the details of it. So when looking at the medial side of the shoe, you guys can see that it's constructed of mostly this teal green color Away. And when you really look closely into it, it's actually this furry suede, which is really high quality. Next, when we go into the end logo, as you guys can see, we have this kind of shirling material, and I'm assuming that it was hand stitched into the end based on the way it feels on hand. Next, when we go onto the outer lining of the end, we have this kind of lime green embroidery surrounding the end right there. Next, when we turn into the toe box area, as you all can see here, we have this kind of mesh material in this kind of light peach or light salmon colorway. Then when we go into the front of the toe box, you can see this debossed leather New Balance end logo. Also, this area right here surrounding the toe box is actually 3M, so I don't know if you guys are gonna see that reflective material on camera, but this is 3M when you actually light it up. Next, when we look directly at the front of the shoe, this rubber cap is coming directly from the outsole, and we also have this New Balance logo right here. So now going on to the top of the shoe, as I mentioned before, you guys can see this Deboss New Balance logo, but then we also have this rubberized Salehi Banbury logo right there. Next, we have the teal green laces, but this shoe also comes with two other lace colorways. So we have that kind of lime green lace right there, and then that kind of peach light salmon colorway right there. Next, following back up on the tongue, we also have a mesh material under the laces, the same colorway as mentioned before. And then we have this beautiful leather tab right here that says New Balance right into the middle. Very beautiful and high quality shoe, man. Now going on to the back of the shoe, we have more of that mesh material with that light salmon colorway. Then we also have a piece of leather right here. Then surrounding the ankle collar, we have that furry teal suede, man. And I'm telling you guys, on the touch, this shoe is extremely high quality. I mean, I really love how high quality the shoe really is, man. I mean, from the leathers to the hairy suede. But then look at this, guys. At the heel counter, you have this super duper soft regular suede right here, man. And I mean, you could tell it's high quality suede due to that backstroke motion. Look at that. And then when we look at this area, we have this kind of rubberized thumbprint looking at. Let me 
not even show y'all my thumbprint. But we have this rubberized thumbprint area right here in this lime green colorway. And then let's go into the midsole of the shoe as you guys can see right here. It's actually consists of multiple different foams of New Balance. So it's actually a mix of the New Balance Absorb, the New Balance Absorb SBS, and the New Balance Energy Foam as you guys can see right here. Next, going on to the front of the midsole, we have this hit of lime green, but also if you guys pay attention to the white midsole, we have this kind of brown speckled paint all over it, which is really cool. And then when we go into the back heel area, we actually have these rubberized air bubbles, and this fake reminds me of the Nike shocks. If you know, you know. But getting back into it now, when we switch onto the medial side, we basically have the same thing except in this whole area right here, we have this lime green hint. And now going back onto the lateral side of the shoe, as you guys can see this plate right here, this is actually the New Balance Stability web plate, and I'm assuming that it just makes the shoe feel more stable. I'm not too familiar with what this technology is, so I'm not really gonna speak about it. And then when we look at the complete outsole of the shoe, as you guys can see, we have this unique traction pattern in this teal green colorway, and that's about it, y'all. This really concludes the details of the shoe. I think I've given everything that surrounds this entire shoe on both the lateral and medial side, since it's basically the same thing on the medial side. So that's gonna conclude the review, guys. I almost forgot to mention that we actually actually have this beautiful cork insole within the shoe. And just look how beautiful this is, man. We have a cork insole with some perforations, which I've actually never seen before personally myself. And then we also have this beautiful Silehi Banbury New Balance logo right there. And then when we turn the insole around, we actually have another New Balance logo underneath the insole, which is really cool. So let me just give my take on the shoe. So guys, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I struck out on this shoe several times. I'm talking about waking up at 6.30 in the morning on release day to go to New Balance Flatiron for them to have it labeled as a first come first serve and then changing it into a raffle. Meanwhile, I was number 10 online with my boy Mark, son, and I don't know why they changed it to a raffle, but it is what it is. But to me, two things happened. Either they backdoored pairs, one, or two, they really had such low stock because I'm talking about it was probably only 20 or 30 of us. It wasn't that much people. And they did a raffle, which is so BS to me because I know I would have gotten my pair because I was the only size eight there. Everybody else looked like they was a size 10, 10 and a half, whatever, that doesn't matter. So they end up saying that only 10 people won the raffle, which is BS to me. There's no way the New Balance headquarters is only sending you 10 pairs to sell. Like that's BS to me, but you know, if that happened, it is what it is, and I can't change the fact that that happened. So I woke up early and took an L on that. Next, on that same day, I tried winning on the New Balance website, and I actually got through because my boy is so lucky when it comes to New Balance. My boy Mark literally got through the queue twice. So after a while of trying, he secured his pair, but then when we was trying to secure my pair, you know, we tried, we tried, he helped me, I tried myself, you know. I just took an L, like it was just straight up sold out. And it was surprising to me because the big size is sold out mad fast. So when size eight came, it was kind of like, all right, I might hit this or I should hit this, but it didn't happen. I took the L on the New Balance website. Then it dropped on Selehi Banbury's website, which was a complete poop show. Like it was bad. Like, you know, it's Shopify. So there was no bot protection or nothing. So the bots completely ate that up. Like if you had a bot, you ate on that website. It was just beautiful. But anyways, like late at night at 12 AM or something, they sent something in the group saying that the website was actually doing a raffle for the botted pairs. Right. And it's crazy because I was going through my things. It was a bad night or whatever. It is what it is. So what happened was I was able to see that and I was pretty late to it. I was like 18 to 20 minutes late. They were saying it was a first come first serve, but honestly, I think it was a raffle because honestly, I went in mad late when I went in like 18 to 20 minutes late and entered the raffle. But then I didn't even hit on the accounts that I entered first. I hit on the last account that I entered and that took me about what, three, four minutes. So the last account I entered was actually like 22 minutes late for the raffle or first come first serve, whatever it was. And then like two days later, boom, that account hit. And I gotta give a big shout out to A Boogie because it was her account that hit randomly and I just checked the email and that's what hit. So, you know, because of that last raffle, that was literally a last shot occurrence and I really can't believe that I got them for retail. I mean, the resale isn't so bad or whatever, but again, big shout out to you A Boogie. You hit and you're the best. I appreciate it and I love you, man. So guys, this is gonna include my review as well as some history of what happened between me and the shoe and the effort and struggles that it took to cop the shoe, as well as my opinion and take on the shoe. Like I said before, this is a very beautiful shoe, extremely well crafted, and I'm really happy that I was able to cop it for retail. And y'all better stay tuned because I got this fire on for look for y'all.
All right, y'all, so that's gonna conclude the review as well as the on for look. And other than that, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to smash that like button. And if y'all seen anything that you like throughout the video, or if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.